hello here uh, actually we will see uh, how to add a multiple protocols on in exia actually in exia scenario section uh, so if you see here there are Mm, this is uh, yeah, yeah usually if you see right uh, ethernet is there than ip and any protocol ip protocol we have added uh, so routing protocol bgp pl2 so similarly what we want right here we want to two type of uh, this protocols one is a uh, v4 v6 and on top of that uh, bgp pairing you want to make uh, the duty so what we have selected two ports is connected with the, this is the duty somewhere uh, box so we can say so it's connected with two ports two different ports and one is with the ipv6 address one is the with the ipv4 address so and ipv6 we have enabled bgp plus pairing and here bgp pairing for v4 so what we can see so now if you see right the configurations uh, so here ethernet if you'll see so it's a simple vlan 1 vlan 2 two different vlans are there and this port if you'll see the two ports is connected the duty and the v4 vc v4 address if you'll see so just to hear what uh, dynamic address we have added so start value under the it's uh, under increment section if you see right uh, single value increment so increment start value we have added and then step we mention and then ok so uh, the number of time right whatever device number we have added 2 3 4 so it automatically take the addresses and gateway also similarly we have added same whatever duty address so then after that uh, if whenever we start it will resolve the gateway and all so v6 also similarly we have added same so v6 if you will see increment this address and the same step we mentioned and uh, for this a gateway IP you added and then that's in a port uh, nothing is there and the device something we have to mention uh, somewhere we will mention a router ID kind of so if you see here yeah, here in the device group section right we mentioned for this port this is the router ID this is the router ID V4 address only it will take so then in PGP one pairing what we uh, just give router id and then local ip similarly we can mention if we if we want to give a list right so local ip will give then that ip and duty ip bgp id and then if we see local s the says is mandatory mandatory and here we are forming ebgp session so this thing we added that's it and for v6 right v6 something you have to mention uh, this router id it will take v4 uh, and we can mention this uh, enable bgp id and this this checkbox same as a router id bgp id is same as a router id so it will automatically take and then enable 4 byte s whatever is we give and then that's it local ip also we can give here we have to give the local ip local ip this and then the dot ip and dot ip also you can give so this is the duty IP and then discover duty IP this that's it. 
After that, whenever we start a network group, also you can attach with the PGP peer. Then, when we start the scenario, uh, start stop, then it will first uh, VLAN will come in, then an IP, and then the PGP peering will come up. Uh, so, in detail, also if you want to see it, right? So, IPv4 here. Enable IPv6 BGB peer and this is BGB peer. If you select this BGB plus, so BGB plus setting to add the options, right? How to add the options actually? This uh, options stacking. Uh, so to add uh, one protocol you will see right uh, just if we click here they just stacking add protocol so if on the top of uh, ethernet uh, this uh, two will come already ipv4 is there so will not see any option v4 v6 if you see here just uh, v2 is there right v ipv so in CC here IPv6 is coming. So when we added the IP6 to came. So similarly here also on top of this one we have we can go and click the stacking. If you see then just add. So here VGP plus we can add. So like that we can add and uh, just uh, whatever we mentioned right. Here we can update all these details. Outer ID if we are seeing here right BGP BGP ID is coming and all this thing we can add it local IP data IP this is a BGP ID will be V4 router ID also will be V4 address and V6 also you can add those addresses so this one was I missed initially so now we can understand uh, one more thing uh, this network group if you want to add some network group right uh, so you want to distribute some what we can say uh, some network addresses uh, via VGP so what you can do just uh, click on this uh, network group and then after that uh, then IPv6 address pool you can mention and BGB RP route range so range means just uh, how many address range you want to mm, uh, so if you see right 35 starting we uh, I want to distribute from this uh, uh, if you see this uh, from this right from this uh, this uh, no, what you can say on this interface right this, this BGB peer uh, we want to distribute 35 and discount is 10 so and this is 35009 and all that is also we can we want to see it. so here will show IPv6 before routes uh, so if you see here it will show 30 000, 30 000, 35 000 to 10 address it uh, last address this one so it will distribute all these addresses and also if you want to send the traffic to those uh, traffic items right so just to go to l2 l3 traffic item and here you can add it so if you go the L2 L3 traffic item this one you can add and after uh, clicking that one you will get this this kind of prompt and there you can select actually this whatever topology from where to where you want to send so all that is selected basic IPv4 addresses topology 1 to 2 you want to send 
so this side also is selected all the IPv4 addresses and here if you want to send bi-directional so that also you can do in direction also you can do so then and after that if you do this it will update this endpoint then after clicking next you can say you can see the stacking whatever stacking you mentioned so this and then the you can select the uh, flow group based on uh, how you want to see the flow group and then uh, rate you can mention here and which rate you want to see you want to continuous then you can click continuous or otherwise you want to fixed or bust you want to send one packet or kind of or hundred packet so that fixed you can send a set and then traffic flow how to see right uh, item and source destination route how no, you want to see the stats so here if you click the flee view flow groups right you can see the send points it's created and if you want to see what uh, this flow is sending uh, so as we see right 10 groups we created 10 addresses so for each addresses it's sending 30 35 30 30 so one one traffic it will send 32 so says 30 35 0 1 to 1 3 kind of total 9 0 135 0 1 2 3 so this we can then after that we can verify how this is the packet format actually then after that if you validate it will resolve the ARP or whatever and then finish that's why because the protocol is not up right that's why this is not up so that's it thank you